Hi all, welcome to the channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away. And we've now got issue 14, stage 48 of Hero Collector and Eagle Moss's Build Your Own Ghostbusters Ecto-1. So once again, we're going to be continuing with the seats of where we worked last time. Uh, we're going to be doing the driver and the passenger seats in stage 48. Uh, let's just show you what we've got to do here. As you can see, we're going to be creating one side of the seat and putting this on the section we made earlier. Then we're going to create the other side. So we've got one completed seat and then we're going to be putting in the seats to the inner uh, floor pan that we worked on in the last uh, oh, a few stages, not the last stage, because the last stage we we're doing the bottom of the seat. Uh, as you can see, in stage 49, we're going to start doing the bulkhead and jump seat, and then we're going to finish that off in stage 50, so that we've got this looking like that. But that's going to be coming next week. Um, if you still want to get hold of this, you can do that. I've put the link down the bottom here. You can get this from pack one. Uh, just go over to the US site if you're in the US. Go over to the UK site if you're in the UK. You'll be able to get this for yourself, and you'll be able to build it just like we're up to uh, on the screen there, as you can see, it's all looking good on that shelf and it's really big. But uh, look, this should be quite an easy issue. So without further ado, let's get cracking. The first thing we're gonna be doing is taking one of the seats and uh, we're gonna be putting the sponge inside this. Comes with two bits of sponge. We're gonna make two of these, so it's gonna be exactly identical. This is what the sponge is looking like. So put that in just like that, making sure it's underneath the flap sections that we can see there. And then we're gonna be putting in one of the seat backs which looks just like that that's going to go in this way around and then once again like we did for the last one it's going to make sure that these flaps are this side over the top like that like that and last but not least like that exactly like we did for the last chair but just on a smaller scale which means now we need to put some MP screws and screw this in so we need one two three four six of them which I've got there. God, look at all of them. One. Let's do, oh hey. That screwdriver's got no magnet. That's better. Do the one down here. Two. This should be quite easy to do this uh, issue because basically we're making two of the same thing three we'll do this one over here oh four two more do the one this side five and last but not least just the one over here Get in the hole. <laughs> Six. There we go. So that is what that looks like at the moment. So when you look at this, we've got two sides. This is going to be the top side. As you can see, we've got uh, a little sort of break in the uh, the edge here on the bottom. So that's going to tell us what way round this goes. And what we want to do is take one of these sections that look just like this, and we want to put it in this way so that these bits here are facing down. Just like that and then in here we're going to be putting some ap screws different from the last ones we've got loads of these as well this is a screwy issue this one <laughs> lots of screws okay we're going to be putting uh six of these in so here we go one nice and tight god they do go in a long way here's number two Here's number three. Here's number four. These are deceivingly long screws. They do take quite a bit of uh, screwing in to get them all in. Here's number five. And finally, when we got this one in, here's number six. Okay. So before you put this in, make sure you put it in the right side. So if you've got the holes on this side, make sure it's towards that side of the chair here. So 
that's the first screw four AP screws this is there's the second one two more here's the third one last but not least here is the fourth one and then we've got these edges here that we need to put in the right side of the seat I'm just seeing if they are directional they do tell you so you've got the R for right and the L for left it's the R one that we're going to need first now you've got a locating lug just at the bottom there so this is going to go over the locating lug there just like oh, get in there just like that and this is going to be secured in here with some LP screws which I've got open here we need two of those so I put the first LP screw in the top here nice and tight and one more just down the bottom here there we go and as you can see that's one chair completed and the chairs do go forward just like that pretty cool huh so we're going to do exactly the same thing but to the other side now so once again put the sponge in like that then we put this section in here making sure that these cutouts here are matching the cutouts that we've got at the bottom there put these all the way in just like this and once again these are going to be held in with MP screws which I've got here we should be able to whiz through this now here's the second one oops that fell out try that again my screws aren't holding themselves in very well tonight there we go there's the second one there's the uh, third we'll get in there there's the fourth I'm not gonna miss any this time I promise <laughs> here's the fifth and finally here's the sixth one lovely and then just like we did for the first chair we're going to line up the section at the bottom that you can see that's open there with this plate making sure it's facing down these plates do tell you what location they are between left and right they've got a little letter on there so that goes in just like that uh, once again we're going to be putting uh, AP screws just into those six holes Is anyone keeping count of how many screws that we've uh, used tonight? I don't. My, my hand is starting to get worn out. Here's the second one. Here's the third one. I'm putting them in an order so that there's stress all around the whole joint here, so I'm not making it bowed or anything like that. This is the fourth one, two more. Oh. I'll tell you what, this build actually knackered me tonight. <laughs> Here's the fifth. Wow. I think I need an electric screwdriver to do all of these. <laughs> Here's the sixth. <laughs> so just like I mentioned before, as you can see, we've got these holes here which are on the left side so that dictates that it's going to go on the left side so that's going to go sit in just like that and once again we're putting some AP screws just into the four holes that we've got here so here's the first one there we go first one's in do the second one get that in over this side I think just down the bottom two more 
I don't know what screws we're putting in the uh, when we're attaching this to the base but I do seem to have quite a few left over and I think I definitely have screwed everything in I don't think I've missed any today there we go so both of those chairs are in that's looking really good isn't it okay we've got the uh, the edge to put on this side so once again as I said this is labeled L just down the bottom there so this is going to go over the lug the loca I like locating lugs because it helps when you are screwing it in and these are held in once again with LP screws two LP screws this is the last time we'll be using the LP screws uh, just for this stage so that's the first one in and the second one is going in over here and they we don't need any of these screws now actually because it's DP screws we're going to be using next let's clear that out show you what that looks like so it looks like that there that from the side that from this side as you can see they fold down they're quite a nice feeling when you do that actually so now we've done that what we're going to do is we're going to bring over the interior that we worked on last time and as you can see these brackets on the bottom have got two lug holes on each side we're just going to line them up here now the good thing is you've got some lugs just either side of these which will help us to locate this so when i put it in it sits itself in just like that they're going to be held in with dp screws which i've got here uh, it's only four dp screws that it's going to need so we'll put that in turn it upside down we'll get these in on this side so there's the first one number two over here tight as they'll go i don't think we're going to need to move these chairs are we load my screwdriver up properly number three quite a lot to do in this one really wasn't there it didn't look that much in the instructions because it's only over two pages but uh well boy was i wrong and number four so there we go that's in the interior see the seats go forward and that is all there is to do in that stage well that was fun that was all filmed on a live stream and then in post-production i've edited it with the cameras that the people in the live stream didn't see i think it's turned out quite well uh, we didn't really have any problems at all did we peeps <laughs> if you want to watch the live stream i'll put a link up here and you can actually watch that and see where i did go wrong if i went wrong at all i think i was actually quite well behaved in this one we'll have to see but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care